Toronto in New Jersey. Seagan Father here gets the puck and just rips it for a nice goal. And the ref says no goal right away. Nathan Bastion's not happy about it. The other Devils don't realize that it's getting called back for a second. They're celebrating. And looking at the replay, there's the contact with the player in the blue. Skate on skate. And that's what's going to get called for goal interference. And this goal is ultimately going to get called back. The ref first says it's a goal and then changes it to no goal. Obviously made a mistake. That does not make the fans happy whatsoever either. It's confirmed. We have a good goal. Or no, it's right. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Are we gonna... Now early in the second here, Matt Murray comes out to play the puck, shoots it up to his teammate, and Thomas Tatar knocks Matt Murray over, and the Devils have a wide open net to score on. That's getting called back any day. And on the replay, you can see Matt Murray just comes out to play it, and Thomas Tatar just clips him a bit, and he falls. He actually almost stops it with his stick there. The rest have a quick decision, and obviously this goal gets called back also and stays 2-0 Toronto. Now in the third, Toronto still with a 2-0 lead. Eric Haller here gets the rebound off his shot, and it just goes right in. And it looks like a clean goal from the start. But if you look at the replay, he gets his rebound here and then skates up and kicks it there. And it just goes right into the net. No other player touches it, which this is going to get called back for kicking motion, which on the replay, there he goes kicking it. And it just goes right in. No other player, like I said, touches it. And that's just three unfortunate goals for the Devils get called back in one game. Devils fans obviously not happy with what's going on. Start littering the ice with garbage. And it's just not a good luck for the Devils fans. You know, Lindy Russ telling them to stop. And it gets so bad that the Maple Leafs players actually leave the ice and go right into their locker room for cover until all this, like, settles down. It's just crazy how much debris actually gets thrown onto the ice. And this dude's in shock about what happened with the three goals taken away. The Devils would score late in the third with around five minutes left, but ultimately, it's not enough. But ultimately, it wasn't enough as the New Jersey Devils would go on to lose to the Toronto Maple Leafs in the 2-1 game. And as the Toronto Maple Leafs are leaving the ice after their win, people are still throwing garbage onto the ice. And it's just, yeah, not a good luck.